next day, we're gonna do the last person to Atsuko. Shh! You can't sing that! I'll get copy striked by Disney. Cause they'll copyright strike you every single time you sing a little bit of one of their songs. I got a message from Atsuko saying that she needed me, she needed some help with her homework, so I went over to the library to meet her. It took me a few minutes to find her. I had searched most of the library when I noticed her sitting at a table in the corner of the room. When I approached her, she put her pen down and stared at me. It was hard to read her expression. So, you really did come. Did you think I wouldn't come? Atsuko closed her eyes. I had a number of doubts. I sat down across from her. Why didn't she think I'd come to help her? I wanted to ask her, but it felt weird to ask that. She opened her eyes and slid her assignment sheet towards me. Toward me. I need help understanding these proofs the sheet and started looking it over. Are you in Miss Fujikawa's class? I am. Hmm. Looking over the questions, trying to remember how the geometric proof proofs went. Well, I don't remember all of this very well. But for this one, I think you're supposed to use these theorems. I went over the assignment question by question. That's come out of the long, seeming to understand how everything worked once I explained it. After we finished the assignment, Atsuko took the sheet back and started looking at the answers. I'm surprised you were willing to sit through all of this again. Well, I did promise to help you out. Maybe I misjudged you. Huh? I didn't quite catch that. Atsuko shrugged. Nothing, just talking to myself. Now finished filling out the sheet, Atsuko put, up, put her things away. Am I allowed to ask you for help again? Of course. Well, just let me know if you need anything. I'll keep that in mind. With that, Atsuko grabbed her bag and left. It took me a moment to realize the conversation was over. Not sure what to do next, I got up and headed to my room. Atsuko seemed a bit odd. Okay. Atsuko had asked for my help again, so I went to the library to look for her. After what happened last time, I made sure to check the more out of the way spots first. Oh, okay. Check the more out of the way spots first. It didn't take long to find out to go this way. When I sat down across from her, I realized that she didn't have any books or assignments in front of her. Did you forget your books? Hmm? Uh, no. This isn't a homework problem. Or does your offer only extend to homework? I wasn't really sure what she meant by that or how to respond. Is there something else you need help with? Atsuko shifted uncomfortably in her seat. There's a few girls in my class that are bullying me. Really? She gave me a sidelong glance with her good eyes and sighed. Maybe that's exaggerating, but they've been pissing me off. What sort of things are they doing? Asuka leaned on the table. They keep, call they keep making fun of my dead eye. I convinced some of the class to call me Triclops. Triclops? One eye, two extra for my glasses. Oh, I said pressed her lips to tight together. Tried telling them the western saying, in the land of the blind, the one and eyed man is king. But it just went over their heads. The girls who started the dumb nickname are so empty headed. Any famous saying like that probably sounds new. Wonder if these bullies are why Atsuko always seems so quiet. What what did you want me to do to help? She shrugged. I don't know. I thought maybe you knew some way to stop them. If I did, I'd tell people to stop pointing out how tall I am. Why would you be upset about being tall? Because it's all some people remember about me. Hey, let's ask the tall girl what she thinks, or you're so tall, why don't you play sports? I see. Let's go just for my glasses. Sounds like there's not much you can do for me then. Sorry, but probably not. I'll leave you alone for now. Before I could stop her, Atsuko got up and walked away. Next time I talk to her, I need to make sure she doesn't slip away like that. Like a snake. <laughs> Izumi and I went to the library.
library to get some homework done together. We were both falling behind on some assignments, so the library seemed like a good place to focus. I was tapping my pen on the table, trying to puzzle something out, when Izumi glanced up at something and frowned. I'll be right back. Huh? Where are you going? Watch my books. Uh, okay. Izumi got up from her chair and walked over to a group of girls peeking around a shelf. After a moment, I recognized them as being some of Izumi's teammates. I tried to listen in while keeping an eye on Izumi's things, but it was hard to catch everything. Enough of that. I think you have better things to do. Don't let me catch you doing this again, okay? The girls walked away looking a bit down. Izumi walked, walked back to her seat. Where did we leave off? Uh, let's see. Before I could answer, I heard someone approach us, so I looked up to see Atsuko standing across from Izumi. <sighs> those friends of yours? My teammates. Sorry about that. It won't happen again. Are you sure? Are they scared of you or something? Not quite that exactly, but they know better than to do it again. Thanks. After that, Atsuko left. She hadn't even acknowledged me. Did she even see that I was here? I mean, how could she know? I'm so fucking tall. What happened? Don't worry about it. We need to finish these questions before the end of the week, so we need to get moving. Yeah, sure. So we left off with these. I was still a bit curious as to what had happened, but I guess it was easy me to deal with. Even so, Atsuka's mention of bullies before seemed to be accurate. I wonder if there's anything I can do to help her out. You can just intimidate everyone with your tallness. Make an advantage instead of a weakness. While I was on my way back to my room from the dining hall, I noticed Kiyomi and Atsuko talking back, talking to each other in the hallway. Probably should have walked past them without listening in, but my curiosity made me slow down to hear a bit of what they were saying. I live with my cousin, who is kind of like an older sister to me. She's the daughter of the uncle who took you in. That's right. <clears throat> Sound like they were talking about their families. I wonder what started that conversation. I missed a scary glance from Atsuko as I passed by, so I quickened my pace before she thought I was eavesdropping. My sister is kind of annoying. She likes to butt in and keep an eye on me whenever she can. I see. I sort of wanted to hear more, but I decided against it. It'd look weird to turn or to approach them now. Also, I can't help but wonder if Atsuko's comment about her sister is directed at me. This time when Atsuko asked me for help, she asked me to come to her bedroom. I wondered if she was worried about privacy or something. When I showed up at her room, it took her a moment before she opened the door and let me in. She's probably not used to visitors. She didn't offer me to see her or anything, so I stood while she sat on her bed. I figured she wasn't good with social interaction at all. I'm a little surprised you came. Why? <sighs> You've come the last few times, right? But I wasted your time last time. You didn't know I couldn't help, though. Atsuko fixed her glasses inside. I do know this time, though. Huh? Nothing. She took a deep breath. Those brainless girls are bothering me again. What did they do this time? They're spreading rumors about how I have no friends. Triclops is always so lonely. She always eats alone and never talks to anyone from class. That's just mean. Why are they doing this? Probably because their minds are too simple to find something better to do. This girl certainly doesn't hold back when insulting these girls. So why did you call me over? Do you have a plan to stop these girls from picking on you? Sort of. Let's go take off her glasses and wipe, wipe them down before putting them back on. She took a breath. Oh, this is interesting. I want you to pretend to be my girlfriend. I couldn't respond for a moment. Huh? If I have a girlfriend, they can't claim I'm lonely. I'll have to find some other dumb thing to gossip about. No, this in this world it's fine because it's an all girl school. No, this is modern day. It's literally a Yuri game, okay? They're not gonna make fun of in a year game. Eh, most 
because people are more accepting. This is high school. Yes, in high school. Um, I was in high school, and there were a lot of gay relationships all over my school, and everyone was fine with it. <laughs> I just imagine you in like. I know, I just imagine you like wearing like a really dumb dress, like walking around like. <laughs> I'm a new student, this is my girlfriend. They'll be like, why is this guy trying to be a girl? But failing at it. Yeah, and then you'll get kicked out of school. Yeah. I mean... I mean, physically you're old, but mentally... This was such a sudden thing to hear, and it didn't feel right to me either. If I was going to ask some kind of girlfriend, I wanted to do it for real. Too much, huh? Th that's not it. How do I put this? It's just that I'd rather actually go out with you. There is a silence. That's a good point a few times. Huh? There's actually a blush on her face. She looked really cute when she was flustered. Why pretend? If we're actually dating, those girls will have nothing they can say to contradict you. Besides, don't you want to try going out with someone? This felt so awkward. I wondered if I seemed desperate. Maybe I was. For a long pause, that's cool nodded slowly. Okay. Her cheeks were red, but and she couldn't keep her red gaze focused on me. I'm not experienced in romance or anything. That's fine, we can learn together. Okay. I ended up excusing myself so that Atsuko could think things over. I'm sure she had a lot to think about. She seemed so cute when I caught her off guard. I kind of want to see her like that again soon. Gay. I think everyone's Deadpool in high school. I wasn't. I guess I'm like having Nah. Well, I mean, I guess it kind of, Well, I wasn't desperate in the typical sense where, like, oh, I need a boyfriend. But, like, like I'd, I'd date the first guy that called me beautiful to my face. So. It's, it's desperate more in the sense, like, no one calls me beautiful. And it's just like, oh, this guy called me beautiful. No, like, no, I'm, I'm, I'm talking about in the mindset I was in. Like, no one ever calls me beautiful. I was already, like, really depressed because I was, like, I mean, I was still getting over my breakup with my last ex. And then, like, the day before, I was talking with the, my friend, hey, can I talk? I was talking with my friend, Dina, like, oh my god, no guy thinks I'm beautiful, I'm gonna die alone. And, like, she's like, no, the guy's gonna come out from nowhere, take you by surprise. the next day <laughs> my other last ex before you he was like oh I actually have a crush on you and I think you're beautiful I'm like what the fuck <laughs> I'm like Athena did you set this up did you pay him did you pay him and she's like no and I'm like holy shit and I got really flustered and I didn't believe him I didn't listen to him so yeah and that 
relationship was awful. Sorry about what? What? He wasn't the one. He was abusive, abusive as fuck. I still have all the emails that we exchanged where he was being creepy and scary. It was awful. I hope you do. Baby, I should be the one acting like a baby right now. I was abused. Can you stop? I'm gonna actually slap you if you don't stop. You, why do you always make everything about you? Clearly it doesn't because now we have the fucking coronavirus. Share with your friends, subscribe if you haven't, ring that notification bell, and remember, stay safely. Bye-bye.